Hi guys, it's Eve Bella from Perm Youth and Wild Links Land Poems. Today I'm going to present to you a poem that is dedicated to my mentor and teacher, Morag Gamble. It's called Counting My Butterflies. One constant in a world of variables is the joy I find in my patch of vegetables. Spending time on bended knee, loving the feeling of being free. This is where I am ready to believe, kookaburras laughing high in a gum tree. As I sit and count my butterflies, and count 100 species of wild birds, what a prize. A dozen different wildflowers, what a way to while away the hours. A magnificent raptor circles the sky, something in my heart understood his cry. What I see in my permaculture field, with a trickling stream, it's all so real. A quiet oasis, full of grace, so much more than an empty space. I thought how my love of gardening came to be, then it hit me, it was an epiphany. Murai Gamble, as well as my mum, presented permaculture in a way that can be fun. I got to do my design course. My passion grew with such incredible force. The Permaculture Education Institute is so clever and masterful. They bring learning to the masses, they accomplish marvels. As a permaculture team teaches students and admin, you move rocks, soil and compost just to make room for us to stand in. The Ethos Foundation is a small permaculture charity dedicated to supporting young people and women with such clarity. Permuth is an extension of that, where young people from all over the world get to come together and chit chat. Permuth is a youth led community making a positive difference in the world and encouraging equal opportunity. Supporting vulnerable people in Ugandan and Kenyan refugee camps. Fundraising for garden tool seeds and water tanks. Regenerative education is the key for survival. We cannot stand still and be idle. The 12 permaculture principles and three ethics are the foundation in our central to permaculture. How poetic. Processes of change and exchange models of belief helps us find what we seek, from patterns of interdependency to break down walls of future possibilities. Earth care is taking care of all living systems. Lowering our impact by working in harmony is pure wisdom. People care by taking care of yourself and others. Inclusive thinking, cooperation, empathy and choosing kindness for one another. Fair share is all about taking what you need and sharing the surplus. Resources can be redistributed to benefit others, regardless. Understanding nature by observing and interact. Reacting to changes and experiences should be tracked. Capture energy and store some for later. Batteries, solar panels to preserves for your refrigerator. Permaculture systems is designed for abundance. Reap the fruits of your labour. Don't be redundant. Self-regulation and accepting feedback. Notice, reflect and review while well, you kick back. Use and value renewable resources. Waste not what not is what my mother enforces. One organism's waste is another's food. Have you seen landfills waste? Magnitude. Take a step back to see the patterns in the leaves, so you can see the forest for the trees. Integrate rather than segregate. By seeing parts to seeing the whole, we should celebrate. Nature manages according to the long-term plan. Small and slow solutions ensures we are not overwhelmed by the enormity of the span. Nature's way of building resilience is ensuring that all of its creatures has abundance. Isn't that brilliant? The overlap between two ecosystems. A third ecosystem is born through an emergence and composition. Creatively used to respond to change. Change is an opportunity to grow and rearrange. Thinking about solutions in the real world is thinking outside the box and make solutions unfurl. Creativity is the greatest human asset we have to share. Words are the seeds and action show we care. We stretch and dig deep learning more as we yearn, so let's spend time to observe in the hope we will learn. Education gave me the formula to turn complexity into simplicity. I will run into dilemmas but have the necessary resources to formulate a remedy. Morag, I want to thank you for expanding my knowledge of the world around me. Your support and mentorship has given me the key. Remember, when the dust settles and how deeply we delved, what we have learned about gardening, the world, 
and about ourselves.